drat. People have been immigrating to the U.S. for centuries. And why should anyone go anywhere without first clearing it with me? Hmm, I know. With just one theft, the history of immigration will be mine. Bug Zapper, get over here. Is that an evil glint in your eye, Carmen? Well, you just try and call it contacts again. Quiet. I'm sending you through the time port to New Mexico in 1598. There's something special I want you to steal. Bring it back to me in this loot orb when you have it. Now go. Time pilot! Bob Zapper just stole something from the past. You got 28 minutes to get it back? Or history will change forever. Boot up the chrono computer. Launch the time probes. Power up the engines. Now get going. We're on the case and we're chasing her through history. Chrono skimmer. Engines hot, bio villains, evil plot, our brave squadron leader will help us defeat her and bring back the loot to its rightful place in time. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego? Stop her crime and solve this mystery. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego? We're on the case and we're chasing her through history. And here's your Time Pilot Squadron Leader, Kevin Shinnick! Kevin? Kevin! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, welcome aboard, everybody. Want you hang on tight because we've got a very big mission, but very little time. So let's begin our journey by meeting today's Time Pilot, starting with Abby Gold. Nice to see you, Abby. Give me five, all right. And Shelly Chen. Shelly, thanks for coming aboard. And Emily Omen! Emily, come on out here, all right! Welcome aboard, Time Pilots. Uh, you guys have heard the mission from the Chief. We're gonna start by equipping each of you with 100 power points. Great. Now our nanoprobes have revealed the time and place where Carmen has sent Bug Zapper. So let's get things started. Bridge to engine crew. Let's warp to the time of the crime. Upside down. Uh, safely. What's our mission profile? Squadron, you've time traveled to 1598. Location, the region we now call the southwestern U.S. Native Americans had already been here for thousands of years when King Philip II hired Don Juan de Oñate to colonize new territory for the crown. He led 400 settlers north from Mexico, their belongings packed on ox carts called carretas. The journey took months, but Oñate established the colony of New Mexico for his king and founded the first permanent European settlements in the future U.S. Or so history told us till now, when Bugs Zapper went back in time and carted off the carretas. Thanks, Chief. All right, Time Pilots, we know what Bug Zapper stole. For 10 power points, tell me on behalf of what nation did Juan de Oñate colonize New Mexico? Was it Mexico, France, or Spain? Remembering the clues we just heard. 1598, King Philip II, and Oñate leads settlers to New Mexico. Okay, we're all buzzed in. Abby, what did you say? Mexico. Okay, Shelly. Spain. And Emily. Spain. All right, correct answer is Spain. Ten points for Shelly and Emily. You know, time pilots, at that time, Mexico itself was a Spanish colony. It didn't become independent until 1821. And if one of you can save the history of Mexican-American migration and capture Carmen, you win a complete multimedia computer system. But the big question is, where in time has Bugs taken the ox carts? All right, squadron, for our next clue, let's check in with Elaine, John, and Jamie in the engine room. There's a war going 
on between the U.S. and Mexico. The U.S. wants to take the Texas territory, you know. Mexicans are defeated in Mexico City, so... After the war, they signed the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Half a million square miles the U.S. gains. The borders of the U.S. and Mexico have changed. Half a million square miles the U.S. gets, you know, because of the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. All right, pilot, you heard the clues. Name the decade where Bug Zapper is hiding. Is it the 1790s, the 1840s, or the 1890s? Remembering the clues we just heard. The Mexican-American War is fought. Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo changes U.S.-Mexico border. And U.S. gains half a million square miles of territory. All right, everybody's in. Abby, what did you say? The 1840s. All right, Shelley? The 1840s. And Emily? The 1840s. All right, correct answer is the 1840s. Very nice, guys. Squadron, some Mexicans faced a tough choice after the war. They either had to leave territory that had once been their country or stay and become citizens of the U.S. It's all part of the Mexican-American history we're here to save. So let's keep things moving. Bridge to engine crew. Let's warp to the 1840s. All right, time pilots, we followed Bug Zapper to the 1840s, but he's about to do some globe hopping in the mid-1800s. So it's time for global pursuit. Listen closely. Watch the globe on your screen and buzz in after I finish the question. If you're right, you get five power points. If you're wrong, you lose five. Remember, we're in the mid-1800s. Here we go. Bug Zapper is smoking into the country where the Treaty of Nanking marks the end of the First Opium War. What do you guys say? Going to Shelly. Russia? No, I'm sorry, it's China. Next, he signed into the city where Prussia and Austria make peace after the Austro-Prussian War. Going this time to Abby. Prague? Yes, it is Prague. Now he's cut to the Asian country that's signing the Treaty of Kanagawa, its first treaty with a Western nation. Going to Abby. Japan? Uh, it is Japan. Then Bugs battle to the nation where a treaty signing ends the Russo-Turkish War. Going again to Abby. Germany? Correct, Germany it is. He negotiated his way to the city where the Treaty of Paris is signed, ending the Crimean War. Going this time to Emily. Paris? Yes, it is Paris. Very nice. <laughs> Guys, let's see how well we did, okay? At this point, Abby has 125 power points. Shelly, 115, and Emily tied for first with 125. Very nice, guys. Great pursuit. But Bug Zapper is still out there somewhere with the ox carts. So the big question is, where... Wait a second. Hey, guys, it's a clue finder. It's locked on to someone from the future. Let's bring him on board, see if they can help us. Hey, we look at that. It's a bunch of grapes. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Rotten. Oh, well, why the bad mood? No, I mean literally rotten. Just look at me. Yeah, I did kind of <laughs> notice that. Uh, what happened? Well, haven't you heard? Oh, Cesar Chavez, the Mexican-American labor leader, is leading a strike by California grape pickers. They want better pay and working conditions. Wait, didn't Chavez start out as a farm worker himself? That's right, so he really understands the tough life faced by grape pickers. And like Chavez, many of them are Mexican-American too. Now, he's organized the pickers to walk off the field, leaving us to rot on the vine. Wow, so the, things are really starting to get ugly, huh? Oh. Hey, come on, that's personal. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I don't mean you, I, I meant, you know, events. Oh, yeah. You know, the grape growers have even hired thugs to beat up the strikers. Oh. oh, seems like there's a lot of unrest in the country this year, like that big civil rights march from uh, Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah, you're right about that. Mm. So, what are you gonna do now? Oh, I, uh, you know, I, I really could have done something with my life. Oh, become a, a jar of jelly or, you know, get served on a nice cheese platter, yeah. but now I'm just, I'm nothing. I'm uh, no I guess your grapes are in a real uh, jam, no. huh? Oh, very funny, oh, smart no, guy. I wasn't oh, thinking. Oh, no. What? 
I'm starting to smell like raisins. Oh, <laughs> not so bad. Oh. Wow. Gosh. Well, I wouldn't worry about her. I'm sure she has a bright future in a really big box of raisin bran, you know? All right, time pilots. Tell me, what year is Bug Zapper hiding in? Is it 1955, 1965, or 1985? Remembering the clues we just heard. Great Pickers' strike begins in California, led by Mexican-American labor leader Cesar Chavez, and same year as famed civil rights march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. All right, is everybody buzzed in? Shelly, buzz in for me. There you go. All right, Abby, what did you say? 1965. Okay, Shelly? 1965. And Emily? 1965. You guys have been hanging out with each other, haven't you? Answer is 1965. <laughs> 10 points for everybody is what we like to see. You know, Squadron, the strike would last five years. By 1970, Americans were supporting the strikers by boycotting table grapes, so the growers finally signed with Chavez's union. It was a tough victory for the Mer Mexican-American migrant workers. And it might not happen if we fail today in our mission. So let's keep things moving. Bridge to engine crew, let's warp to 1965. You tiny time, boy, man. <coughs> Kevin, Bugs has ruptured the time probe chamber. You better do a data boost. Okay, pilots, let's help him out. We made it to 1965, but it's time for a data boost. Time pilots, I'll give you a fact. Your job, buzz in and tell me whether that fact applies to the nation of Mexico or to the corporation Texaco. Remember, your choices are Mexico or Texaco. Okay, here goes. Founded 1902. Going to Emily. Texaco? Yes, it is, Texaco. Run by Ernesto Zadillo. Going to Abby. Mexico? Yes, it is Mexico. He's the president of Mexico. Texaco's CEO is Peter Bajour. Next up. Conducts operations in every U.S. state and on every continent. Going this time to Emily. Texaco? Yes, it's Texaco. Very nice. Main administrative offices are located in Mexico City. Going to Emily. Mexico's Mexico. Correct. Okay, stick with that. You're right. Texaco's HQ is in White Plains, New York. Its name is derived from another name, meaning in the navel of the waters of the moon. Going to Emily. Mexico? Yes, Emily, it is Mexico. Mexico is derived from the Aztec name Mexico. Texaco is an abbreviation of the Texas Company. And that was very nice, guys. Let's see how well we did. Abby has 140 power points. Shelly has 125. And Emily leading the way now with 155. That's a great data boost, pilots. And just a reminder that all our data has been verified by Encyclopedia Britannica. Now let's keep up the chase after bugs and the ox carts. For our next clue, we're gonna... Hey, that alert means we're picking up a transmission from our spy cams at Vile Headquarters. Bring it up on the view screen. Say, hey, boss, I'm looking to unload these stolen carretas, but no one's buying. They're too busy arguing about the North American Free Trade Agreement, alias NAFTA. It's causing a big buzz. Did I just say buzz? The point of NAFTA is to create a common market between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada, meaning each country would kill its tariffs, or extra charges, on products coming from the other two countries. Did I say housefly? Here in the U.S., President Bush and others say NAFTA will mean big growth, more jobs, blah, blah, blah. But many fear that millions of jobs will fly south to Mexico, where companies can pay workers a lot less dough. Personally, flying jobs never bothered me. It's flying bugs I can't stand. All right, pilots, where in time is Bug Zapper? Name the president of Mexico at the time. Was it Carlos Salinas de Gortari, Diego Rivera, or Fidel Castro. Remembering the clues we just heard. 1992, leaders of Mexico, USA, and Canada sign NAFTA agreement, and George Bush is US president. All right, Abby, what did you say? 
I said Carlos Salinas de Cort Gortari. Gortari, yes, yeah, you said it better than I did. And Shelly? Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera uh, and Emily. Carlos Salinas de Gortari. All right, correct answer is Carlos Salinas de Gortari. <laughs> 10 points for Abby and Emily. Squadron, NAFTA took effect on January 1st, 1994. And so far, neither the biggest hopes nor the worst fears about it seem to have come true. Only time will tell its effect on trade and Mexican-American relations. But right now, history doesn't have much time left. So let's make one final leap forward in time, and that means an ultimate data boost. Guys, in an ultimate data boost, each correct answer gets you 10 power points. But if you're wrong, you lose 10. Okay, we've got a very close score so far. Abby has 150 power points. Shelly has 125, and Emily has 165. This next round will determine who goes on to complete this mission. All right, tell you what. Time pilots, early on in this mission, we heard about the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. So I'll name a state. Your job buzzed in and answer yes if most or all of the state's land was gained from Mexico through the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, or no. All right, if it was not. Answer should be yes or no. Here we go. Utah. Going to Emily. Yes. Yes, it was. Very nice. Florida. Going again to Emily. No. No is the answer. California. Going to Shelly. Yes. Yes, it is. Arizona, going to Emily. Yes. Yes. Wyoming, back to Shelly. No. No is the answer, correct. Nevada, going to Emily. Yes. Yes, correct. Finally, New Mexico, going to Abby. Yes. Yes, very nice, guys. Let's see what happened. Abby has 160 power points. Shelly has 145, and Emily, 205 power points. That means that Abby and Emily are moving on to the next phase of this mission, but Shelly, you did so well today. You're five. And the chief is here to express our appreciation. Bugs Zapper can be hard to swap, but you've done a great job today. So I'm putting a time net mission pack right in your hands. It's filled with great gear like the new vile t-shirt, where in time watch and Britannica's fascinating facts. You've made me mighty proud, pilot. I salute you. Pilots, let's wave goodbye to Shelly as she heads back to Time Net Command. You guys ready for your next order from the Chief? Yes. yes. All right, Chief, we're ready. Time Pilots, the history of Mexican migration is at stake. Get to North America in 1992 and crate those carretas. Kevin, you're in command. Aye, aye, Chief. Time Pilots, full speed ahead to 1992. Bug Zapper's got the ox carts in a cybersphere. Activate the loot tractor beam. Oh my goodness, am I perturbed? Well, we're pretty happy. We've gotten back the ox carts and have them safely on board. Congratulations, guys. Plus, you're now one step closer to winning that great multimedia computer system. But before we continue chasing Bug Zapper, we've got to return the loot to 1598. So let's check in with the chief to get our flight plan. Chief! Time pilots. You must navigate the chrono skimmer through eight events from Mexican-American history, starting at the most recent event and finishing at the least recent event. Here are the events on your flight plan. Mexican troops captured the Alamo from Texan defenders. Juan de Oñate leads settlers from Mexico into New Mexico. Tijano singer Selena is born. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo is signed. Revolutionary Pancho Villa leads raids into the U.S. Over 300,000 Mexican-American troops serve in World War II. Henry Cisneros is named to President Clinton's cabinet. Richie Valens' hit song, La Bamba, is released. That's your briefing time, pilot. Good luck on your journey. Thanks, Chief. All right, Emily, you had the higher score. You have the choice of going first or second. I'll go second. OK. Abby, in that case, I want you to navigate this chrono skimmer back through time from the most recent event to the least recent event, starting by picking the most recent event on the board. You may begin. Clinton appoints Cisnero. Correct, Cisneros. That's 1993. Keep going. Tejano singer Selena is born. Yes, you've gotten us to 1971. Tejano is an up-tempo style of Mexican-American border music. Keep going. Valens hit La Bamba is released. Yes, you plot a course to 1958. 
Mexican American served in World War II. You have gotten the nav uh, the chronic skimmer to the 1940s. Keep going. Pancho Villa lead raids into the U.S.? Yes, 1916. Pancho Villa was a famous Mexican bandit and revolutionary. Keep going. Añado lead settlers into New Mexico. All right, going back to Emily. Most recent event on the board. Clinton appoints Cisneros. Yes, 1993. Tano singer Selena is born. Correct, 1971. Valens hit La Bamba is released. Yes, 1958. Mexican Americans serve in World War II. Correct, 1940s. Pancho Villa leads raids into the U.S. Correct, 1916. Treaty of Guadalupe Hildago signed. Yes, 1848. Mexican troops capture the Alamo. Yes, 1836. Onate leads settlers into New Mexico. 1598, Emily, you've saved history. Congratulations. Very nice job. Now, I want you to activate the transporter and restore the loot to its proper place in history. Go ahead. Guys, you should both be very proud of yourselves. That was, that was a difficult one. You guys did very, very nice. Okay, right now you and I are moving on, but you have another mission from the chief, and she's here to tell you all about it. Pilot, I'm awarding you a Time Net mission pack and this portable CD player. You can listen to all your favorite tunes with these great headphones. Head not included. Good work, Time Pilot. Right now, Abby is piloting the Crown of Skimmer back to the present, but Emily. Bug Zapper and Carmen are still out there. We've got to chase them through the trail of time. You with me? Yeah. Let's go. Look out, Carmen. We're on our way. We're on the case, and we're chasing her through history. Chrono skimmer, engines hot. Bio villains, evil plot. Our brave squadron leader will help us get either and bring in time, tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego. Stop her crime and solve this mystery. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego. We're on the case and we're chasing her through history. Hey, Emily, we've made it to the trail of time. You've got to chase Carmen through six time portals, moving from the past to the 20th century. At each portal, Carmen's going to try and stump you with a history question. If you get it right, the gate will open and you move on to the next portal. If you get it wrong, you've got to operate a device to open the gate. And along the way, you're going to capture Bug Zapper. Do all of that within 90 seconds, and you'll capture Carmen San Diego and win the computer. You think you can do it? Yeah! All right. Emily, get ready, set, go, Emily, go. Follow the engine crew to the first portal. It's 1853. Who negotiates a big U.S. purchase of land from Mexico? William Seward or James Gadsden? James Gadsden? All right, Emily. Follow the engine crew to the second portal. It's 1927. Where is future labor leader Cesar Chavez born? The United States or Mexico? Mexico. All right, pull the rope. On the other side, on the other side. There you go. Pull the rope and lift that wheel. Keep going, keep going, Emily. You're almost there. Keep pulling, yes! Hey, you've captured Bug Zapper. Way to go! It's 1933. Where does Diego Rivera paint a controversial mural that's later destroyed? The U.S. Capitol or Rockefeller Center? Rockefeller Center? All right, you're doing a great job, Emily. It's 1985. What novel by Sandra Cisneros wins the American Book Award? The House on Mango Street or Gone with the Wind? The House on Mango Street. Okay, you've got two more to go with 23 seconds left. Go for it. It's 1994. What agreement goes into effect in North America? NAFTA or the Rio Grande Treaty? NAFTA. One more. It's 1997. What Mexican-American is appointed U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations? Henry Cisneros? <laughs> Oh, that was so close. I know, I know what you're saying. But, you know, you did capture Bug Zapper. That was tough to do, and you did it. So we're very proud of you. And right now, the chief is here to say a few words to you. Carmen slipped through our fingers today. But I'm arming you with a Time Net mission pack. Plus, 
I'll cross your palms with this great CD radio cassette recorder. Thumbs up, time pilot. Chief out. Thanks, Chief. Emily, you did a great job today. We're very, very proud of you. Right now, we've got to head back to the present. And remember, at Acme TimeNet, history is our job. The future is yours. Chasing her through history. Throttle open, thrusters on. Chrono skimmer gets us on. Pack extra socks and we'll all beat the clock from the Stone Age to Middle Age to Space Age. And back. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego? Stop her crime and solve this mystery. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego? Chasing her through history. Nero Spittle, Lincoln's beard, Newton's apple disappeared. The finest tea from the Ming Dynasty and the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. We've got to get them back. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego? Stop her crime and solve this mystery. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego? Chasing her through history. Nero Spittle, Lincoln's beard, Newton's apple disappeared. The finest tea from the Ming Dynasty and the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. We've got to get them back. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego? Stop her crime and solve this mystery. Tell me where in time is Carmen San Diego? Chasing her through history. Nero Spittle, Lincoln's beard, Newton's apple disappeared. The finest tea from the. All historical information has been verified by Encyclopedia Britannica. This program was produced by WGBH Boston and WQED Pittsburgh. Carmen's journey through time is propelled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Over and out, pilot. This is Lynn Thickpin saying, well done. To receive a free copy of the 16-page Carmen San Diego Teacher's Guide with classroom history activities, write to the address you see on the screen.